Hi, so my name is Nicolas. I'm a field application engineer at ST Microelectronics. And today I would like to show you how to get started with a new kit that we have, so the stm 2 G0 Nucleo Kit. First of all, you will need to use an ID. For this, I use Kyle Microvision 5. Why? Because it is actually free of charge for all our customers using stm 2 G0, but it's also F0 and F0, by the way. So, for this, you will go to this website right here, download, you know, the tool, so the Microvision 5, and then you will install the activation key using this PSN right here. So we're going to get started by using the stm 2 Cubemax, which is the tool that we're going to use to generate the code for our Nucleo G071RB. So I'm going to open it. So if you didn't install it, uh, yet, so you can download it from st.com and you look for stm 32 Cubemax. So here is the interface right here. So we're going to select a new microcontroller. So using the access to MCU selector, I'm going to look for the stm 32 g 71 rb from the part number search here. So this is the microcontroller that is on the Nucleo board. From here, I'm going to look for the pin called PA5 that is connected to the LED on the board. So it's blinking here and we're going to select it as GPIO output. Okay, we are going to configure the clock so that the micro run at the maximum speed, which is 64 megahertz. So you enter, so 64 here. Okay, we're good. We're going to give a name to the project using the project manager. So stm 2 G0 Nucleo. So that's the location. We're going to generate a project for Kyle. So this is MDK ARM version 5. Make sure that you have the good part number that is selected and that you have the library. So the library, you can download it here from the manage embedded software package. So make sure that if it's not downloaded, go here and click here, you know, to download it. So in my case, I have downloaded it already. Okay, so we good here. So now we can generate the code. So if you have installed you know kyle microvision 5 so the 5.26 that's the version i'm using with the pack for the stm32 g0 if you click on open project it will open microvision 5 so from arm which is also known for us as mdk arm v5 and you see your project right here so we're going to go to the main main.c, uh, look into the main function. Now I'm going to add a simple code, so two lines of code. So to toggle the LED, which is PA5. So I have one code, you know, to toggle the pin PA5 and another one to add a delay of 100 milliseconds. So I'm adding this in the while loop and right after, you know, the uh, GPIO has been configured. And now we can compile. We can now build the project, so build target. So once the project has been built, we can enter debug mode. So debug starts or control F5. Now we are in a debug session and we can execute the code. So to execute the code, there is an icon right there, you see, or you can press F5 to run the code. And now on your board, you can see the LED, uh, the green LED that is blinking as we wanted. So I hope you learned a lot today about how to get started with our new kit, so the SM32 G0 Nuclear Board. And if you need more details, please go to our website sc.com. And thank you for watching and have a great day. Thank you.